Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Guys, it's time. Make that beautiful online portfolio, that store. It's so easy to do it with Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. I started my journey with this laptop being like, ooh, that's weird. And that also, oh, I don't like that that but then the more i used it you kind of fall in love it's like an irrational love with it because the keyboard's amazing i love the trackpad um it does seem like a very cool laptop even though hey the bezels and the overall design are very outdated. And if Microsoft says, hey, this is our most powerful laptop ever, you get desktop-like experiences, um, well, that's not the same as being the most powerful laptop ever. It doesn't even really compete with MacBook Pro 16, the new Dell XPS 15 and 17 inch, and those are going to be in similar price ranges. So with all that said, let's get into this weird video to match the weird laptop top. Look, I love the keyboard. I am obsessed with this keyboard and the trackpad is kind of amazing. I don't think all trackpads have to be huge, massive MacBook trackpads, even though they do have a good amount of space here, but love the setup. In the beginning, I kind of did miss a fingerprint ID sensor, but Windows Hello is so quick with the face ID that I forgot about it. You f forget about it. Despite the massive bezels, and hey, they say it's for you to be able to grip it as a tablet once you unattach it from the base. Um, this display is actually really nice. It's beautiful, it's glossy, it's 3240 by 2160, and it's that three by two aspect ratio that you productivity lovers love. Coders, writers, all the things. Even me as a video creator, having that extra vertical real estate when I'm in Premiere, mwah, love it. This laptop is weird, right? Cause it's a laptop, but hey, it's also a tablet. It unattaches, great. Um, but I kind of put it in the same category as two in one. So once I start playing around with it and oh, weird, I'm used to two in ones being able to tilt back more. This is as much of a tilt back as you're gonna get. Because you need enough components in the display for it to work as a tablet, it is top heavy. And as I was doing Zoom calls, just doing some work and had it on this little laptop, stand situation because it was top heavy it actually fell multiple times in the middle of the meeting <laughs> so just something that you have to think about the top heaviness awkward is a little awkward so i've had the surface book 3 for several weeks for a while now and i could have probably told you all the things i'm going to tell you weeks ago but the past iterations i had so many issues with this hinge i had so many issues with pressing this button waiting for the detach thing and then i would have issues and then i would you know put it back and it just wouldn't reattach and i would have to fiddle around with things but look that's that was seamless that was super quick it was faster it was better and it was more reliable so it's so nice to be like watch me disconnect this and have zero issues that was so fast and then just magnet it snaps back on and look, good to go. Okay, I'm glad, I'm kind of glad that this happened because as I was wrapping up this video, I sat down, I was playing some Halo, like one does on the new Book 3. I started with Reach, but now um, I'm getting into the Halo 2 campaign just because I feel like that's the most nostalgic for me. Growing up with my brother and my dad, we were big Xbox Halo people. However, I was getting into it and I was like, holy smokes is this slow. The, the words coming out of the character's mouth, even that wasn't looking right. And then I was looking around and it wasn't smooth at all. I was like, what is going on? So I restart the computer. I do all these things. I do all this troubleshooting. But then I go into the task manager. I go to performance and I notice, hey, where is my NVIDIA graphics card? At this point, I'm not really thinking straight. I'm just like, what the heck? Wait, did I not have the dedicated graphics this entire time? I go and look at the box. It says the 650 Ti. I'm just like, okay, what's going on here? Start clicking around. Nothing points to me having this NVIDIA graphics card in my computer. I Google it and the first forum says, listen, you need to detach your display and then reattach it because something went wonky. And for some reason, the display is not communicating to the bottom of the laptop to say, hey, the 650 graphics card is attached, use it. And that's exactly what happened. Detach the display, 
reattached it, went back in Task Manager, and there you have it, the second graphics card. It's not just the Intel integrated graphics. So for a minute, I got to see what it would look like without the NVIDIA, and Halo just was not, it was not looking good. But I say all of this, and in the three weeks I've been using this, for it to happen one time is one time too many times. So if you get the Surface Book, one, two, or three. If it's being sluggish and you have that dedicated graphics, go into Task Manager and check if it's there. If it's not, reattach your display. Detach it, reattach it, and that should work. That should get your games to be performing better. That should get Premiere to get working better. <laughs> and so my only worry with this computer is, you know, a normal getting it and not even knowing what Task Manager is, not even knowing, uh, you know, to look whether or not the dedicated graphics is actually popping up and just thinking their computer is super slow and being bummed that they spent the $2,000, $3,000. So as long as you know that, you have my permission to buy this computer. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's much better than obviously Surface Book 2, but it still happens. One of the great things about this design is if you're a photographer, illustrator, you already have a good workflow on Windows laptops with touchscreens and a pen. The Surface Pen, by the way, is one of the best experiences I have had. The Book 3 has a dedicated GPU. So not only can you use this as a tablet on its own, but you can keep it attached, flip it over, still connected to the bottom and get that power of the dedicated GPU. You know, so many times when I talk about the iPad, it's the lack of desktop apps, desktop Photoshop, desktop Illustrator. When I talk about things like the Surface Go, it's the lack of power. And this bridges those two worlds so nicely. I can be in Photoshop 100% desktop Photoshop and be crushing it with the pen. I just love the Surface Pen. It's not like the iPad where it's plastic meeting glass. The tip of this nib is actually really soft and it feels most accurate to actually writing in real life. And that translates in my handwriting. I use this as a tablet much more. It's a fun experience. It's super easy. It's not as heavy, you know, when you're using it as a tablet. The experience is just so close to being perfect. There's just little quirks where the keyboard will just jump in and out at you as you're scrolling but then you know you want to keep the keyboard up so it's just like ah, windows and tablet mode is just so close it's just not as seamless as you would like it to be the 1080 webcam is amazing we're all doing these zoom calls with 720 webcams looking like potatoes Thank you. You have a service connector, a USB-C, two USB-A's and an SD card slot. Hallelujah on the SD card slot. We love it. We love to see it. But listen, the lack of Thunderbolt 3 makes no sense. If you're worried about that and connecting this to other displays for more of a desktop experience, you can get the Surface Dock 2, which supports dual 4K displays at 60 Hertz. But listen, because the Surface Book 3 tries to do it all, it very rarely does one thing perfectly. If you're an illustrator, a photographer, you already have a good workflow with Windows Touch devices. Yes, SD card slot, great, this is great. Maybe you're a college student or a coder or a journalist who needs that amazing keyboard and a really great trackpad. And hey, you want that dedicated GPU for occasional 1080, 60 frames per second gaming. Yes, sure. You'll love this three by two aspect ratio, you know, but you have to look at the price. The biggest thing is the price tag. So you can get the 15 inch i7 32 gig memory model with 512 gigabytes of SSD at $27.99. Like that's actually a pretty big pill to swallow, especially when you start comparing it to, well, the MacBook Pro 16 inch, the Dell XPS 15 and 17 that just came out. This big beefy boy that is supposed to be Microsoft's most powerful laptop has the same exact processor as my super slim and tiny Dell XPS 13 2 in 1. And listen, of course, you're going to see better performance with this guy for gaming, for that video editing, because it has a dedicated GPU. This has the integrated GPU, but it's the same quad core processor. If you're a hardcore video creator or you just need sheer power, I don't know if I can recommend a $2,500 laptop, a $3,000 laptop with a 15 watt processor in it, a quad core processor, when you can get a lot more with other options. So why did they put that 15 watt processor in here? Well, it's because of the design. They have to put that processor in the tablet to where it works in laptop mode, also in tablet mode. So even though the hinge, even though this unique two-in-one form factor is what makes it cool, it's also what limits its power. Anyways, okay, Squarespace 
Squarespace. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Listen, y'all, this might be your time to shine. This is the time to gather up your work, put it on your website, put a great foot forward for the people who need your creative work. We need you in this world. We need the beautiful pictures, the great design, the amazing corporate videos. Make them not boring, please. And Squarespace is that all-in-one platform to build that beautiful online portfolio or a store. Do you sell merch? Do you sell things? Well, they have you covered. On Squarespace, you can even claim your own custom URL, like saradici.com. Speaking of saradici.com, I wanted to get, you know, kind of a facelift to my main page on my website, and I started looking at different templates, and I really enjoyed the templates that started with a video. I'm a video creator, right? I want people to know what I do from the press of a button when you go to saradici.com, and I actually tweeted you guys, hey, I need some video inspo. Do your Squarespace sites feature a video of your work? And I have to tell you, you guys are talented. I watched plenty of them. But this guy, Devin, so he's actually a Squarespace developer. So immediately I know, I know he knows what he's talking about. If he has a video as his first impression, then I know that's a good sign for me. I mean, look at his website. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. And his video is so professionally well done. And I say all these things to put the pressure on me. So the next time that I tell you about Squarespace, and I tell you about all of their amazing features like appointment scheduling, email campaigns, search engine optimization. Next time I tell you about all of these things, I will have that video done. I'm gonna create that two minute, hi, I'm Sarah Peachy and this is what I do. I want that video on my main homepage of my website. I'm inspired by you guys. Anyways, if you wanna check it out, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, when you're ready to put your online portfolio, your store out there into the world, well, hey, go to squarespace.com slash saradici to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Do it. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And let me know, what do you think about the Surface Book 3? I like it a lot. It's so weird. I don't know if I would recommend it to a ton of people because again, it's so weird, but I somehow like it. So comment down below and until next time, stay peachy. Okay, bye.